In a very close call between a drone and an airliner on approach to New York's Kennedy Airport with 159 people on board. Tower got the floor, sir. Got the floor, sir. Yeah, about a mile back, there was a drone flying uh, just on the southwest side of this uh, abandoned airport here. Uh, what altitude would you say that was? I would say probably about 100 feet below us, uh, just off the right wing. That frightening near miss on the ski slopes, a drone crashing down in a narrow miss in a big race. TJ, please explain. Okay. And this isn't the first time a drone has caused serious drama at a sporting event. We have a moment here where we're not entirely certain as to what it is that landed in the stand. Drones. With all the modern technology in this world, drones are becoming more and more readily available every single day. This means that America's airspaces are becoming more and more crowded with aircraft that are being flown by everyday people. This puts many, many aircraft with actual people on board at a very high risk, as you saw in these previous video clips. Not only does it affect people that are flying in aircraft, it affects people on the ground, as seen with the skier. While all cases of these near misses have been near misses and have not caused any crashes, Sooner or later, it is bound to happen that a drone will be ingested into an engine or hit a windshield of an aircraft and cause an aircraft to crash. Drones have been known to affect firefighting operations, search and rescue efforts, medical helicopter operations, air shows, as well as military training missions. The thing that we are most concerned about is avoiding conflicts with other aircraft, particularly in congested airspace, such as we see around New York. Now you might be wondering what the current laws are regarding drones. The law states that aircraft must not be flown above 400 feet and must remain within line of sight of the operator. Many of these near misses and incidents involving drones have been breaking these laws. But it is clear to see that something like this is very hard to enforce from the law enforcement standpoint. Because the drone is able to be flown a distance away from its operator, it is hard for law enforcement to track down the operator and enforce these laws. One way drone laws can be enforced is by having more organized events, such as drone racing. Drone racing is new in the sports world, but ESPN is trying to popularize it. If more people got into the sport, then less incidents around public airports would happen, and this would make America's airspace safer. This is footage of a drone race, and more and more of these drone races are taking place every weekend. Drone racing as a sport would also boost the economy of drones and the technology associated this would therefore boost the amount of money that would be available to develop new technologies to be able to enforce these laws to a further extent. Drones are also currently used in the filming industry to a large extent. One problem that many pilots are facing in this is that the current law states that there must be no money made off of the footage produced from a private individual flying their drone. From being used in short films to major movies to looking for hotspots on wildfires, also now to being used to deliver packages in the United Kingdom for Amazon, drones have an unlimited amount of uses, which is why we must not completely outlaw them, but we must integrate them into the airspaces around the world. Amazon recently made their first official delivery with a package in the United Kingdom. This shows progression among the aviation authorities that there are more and more uses every day for a drone to be potentially a very useful thing and not a dangerous thing. In closing, I think that drone laws should become more strict and along with the more strict laws, we need a way to enforce them. I'm sure that with the current technology in the world, there would be ways that can be developed to enforce these drone laws. It is not safe with millions of people in America's and the world's airspace every single day to have tiny little drones anywhere from this size to a few meters in size 
that put real people in real aircraft at a very high risk. While it hasn't happened yet and there have been no fatalities or crashes to this time, sooner or later, with incidents happening almost every day, sooner or later it's bound to happen that something very bad will happen. Thank you very much for watching.